This I'm going to file under the boy. I'm so glad I don't have to decide what happens here. Uh, index in my brain. Uh-huh. We've been following this, um, uh, the GeForce Now stuff. We talked a little bit about it previously. With Blizzard pulling out. Yeah, with Activision Blizzard pulling out. Uh, another developer, the makers of The Long Dark, have pulled out basically claiming like, uh, hey, NVIDIA, you never reached out to us and asked if it's okay for you to be streaming this game to your pay- now now paid service. So GeForce yeah. Now uh, was in beta for a very long time. They now charge you know, for like the $5 service. Like $5 a month or something. Uh, yeah. The service basically takes games you own from, let's say, Steam, uh, installs them on a virtual machine, and then streams them to you. So they're not selling the games. They're basically, your library is installed, or the games are installed on a remote machine. You log into Steam remotely, and then it'll stream the game to you from a server. Right. Right? How? Make sense? <laughs> yes. Again. Okay. Give me, give so basically, they're just uh, imagine. I don't know the actual technology, but imagine there's a front end, a GUI that is all their stuff. But it is imagine back end. I'm just for the sake of argument here. Imagine they're installing Steam, Steam somewhere on a powerful computer and mm-hmm. remoting it to you, right? But it's your stuff. You've paid for it, right? right? It's your right. login. It's not that they are not selling games through their service. They're not selling games. So if you wanted to, if in this in this scenario, if you wanted to play The Long Dark, you would have had to buy it on Steam, and then you would be streaming it to yourself from their service. Yeah. Right. Right. And they're charging you to use their remote system to stream to you. Yes. How did no one think this could maybe not be an issue? Well, I so it's, the developers are saying, "Hey, what the fuck, man? You're 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 using." And I get this argument. You're using our game to make money by selling your service, right? <clears throat> you're using access to these games to make money without our permission through this service. But you already bought the game, yeah, so you're basically renting the PC. Like, no one is using these games that does not already have purchase rights to the, the consumer. Games. Yeah. Right. So, so first off, let's yeah. let's let's preface this conversation with the fact that lawyers should be figuring this. <laughs> this out. This is again file this under. I'm so glad I don't have to figure this right. out. I think that there is a case to be made that the service. GeForce Now. The extra, it's going above and beyond what a Steam Link is doing, mm-hmm. right? Where you're just streaming, literally, you're slinging your own shit. Well, so, uh, for this is like, a, in a, I feel that this winds up in this weird area, let's just say, of what ownership is. Right, right. but like... Because games you don't own, you license <clears throat> them, you signed your EULA. So that being said... But I don't think the ownership the, is necessarily at the crux of the, of the argument here. I think... The, the problem that you run into is that on a thing like Steam Link, where you are, it is a closed sort Which of loop. Which is made loop. by Valve. Right. It's a closed loop, though, too. Meaning you are not using any other service outside of your own home. Well, you're using the Steam Link. Yeah, but that's streaming from your it's other computer. It's part of that platform. Yeah. And it's streaming from a computer you own. Hardware you own. Right? Yeah. And the game that you own uh-huh. from your Steam uh-huh. library. Yeah. Here, it is like... You know, some sort of like overarching sort of kind of thing that you are not exactly playing the th- you are playing the game that you own software. from a license yeah. somewhere else. You're playing the software you own on hardware. And like you going don't. into this with like the pass that says you have the right to play it. Yeah, but are using different technology. So what are you saying? Off base. I'm saying these developers and publishers have a case against Nvidia. I, I think they do, but at the same time, I don't think it's a cut and dried one. Like no, I think that there's a point that they are making that is valid, which is to say that none of these developers had the opportunity to opt into this service at any point. It was just assumed that they would be available because they are part of an existing uh, marketplace platform. Now, uh, before I finish yes. your thought. Uh-huh. Well, my, my thought is that, like, I think what this ultimately boils down to is a gray area no one has explored yet. Like, we are in a situation now where well, kind of with Alex here. these companies, sure. and obviously they've had these some of these talks with the major publishers because these are the companies that are most likely to sue. And it, and, it's, uh, and it sounds like these, this opt-out mentality yeah. NVIDIA is sort of abiding by where they're saying everybody was in until you come to us and say the, you're not in. And well, they, could, they, yeah, and they are removing the companies right. that say they don't want to be on it. There could also be language somewhere that was like that that made room for this. So there's language in some EULAs for some of the games that say you cannot play this over a cloud-based service. There you in, go. in particular EULAs, the end user license agreement thing, the thing everybody scrolls through when you launch a game. The the tricky part for me is I own the game. If I want to rent a PC and play it on that game, 
should I be allowed to do that? So that's where this gets interesting is how far one I, i'm curious how far this is actually going to go are companies actually going to try and sue them or are they but since they're removing them upon request i feel like that's probably not going to get to that point but if they actually start testing this i feel like at some point the actual challenge to can you tell people that they can't play this game over a cloud service yeah, or like is a- that actually a legal standing or just some bullshit legal language you put in there because ulti- up to this point that has not really been a testable outcome and like take take cloud out of the mm-hmm. equation right can you play this game on a remote PC? Right. Can you stream can you stream remotely this game on a PC that is not mine? There are people who are sure far, And then can somebody charge me to do that? There are people I'm sure who are far better versed in sure. the legal ramifications of this stuff that probably have a more firm answer to what I am saying here. Like I, I think the clear but, the very oh sorry. No, I was saying but I do think that this is there's a potential here if it goes further, which I'm not sure that it will. It seems like Nvidia is just kind of backing down whenever. But if it does go further, there's some stuff in here they could push as far as like what is actually both sides. I think. What yeah, like what what can companies dictate to the person licensing through these platforms, whatever whatever the actual degree yeah. of ownership is. Like what is actually like enforceable? Here? It's there's so many there's so many angles to come at this from that really challenge what we define as ownership at, at this point. Like if I bu- if I bought an album from iTunes, right? And I want to play it outside of iTunes. Should I be allowed to play it outside of iTunes? Well, that is so vague. What Why? You, how are you doing it? I bought it through I, I bought it through the iTunes store. Right. Should I be able to play that in uh, another place? I mean, in an could ideal I, world, yes. Yeah. Can, I, can I upload those files to Dropbox yes, but and like, play them but, there? But, but this is different platforms. But I'm saying, if I upload those MP3s to Dropbox, can I stream it off of Dropbox? Yes. Okay. Is that different than this? Yes. Why? Because you brought them to Dropbox. Well, I bought it in Steam, and then I just I just installed but it. But that's the point: is that you, the people who are subscribing to GeForce now are the ones that are ultimately installing install, those games yeah. on. Okay, they would be like Dropbox. So I'll say if I installed playing. iTunes on their remote machine and streamed it off of there, would that be yes? That's illegal. No, it's it's legal. But if there's someone charging you to access yeah. your iTunes on the other end yes. of that, that's where it gets dicey. That's where it gets dicey. So for me, it's cut and dry. And uh, Nvidia absolutely cannot use use promotional materials from any of these things to say we have this game right set up for our service so you can get access to this game because that seems like you are now explicitly using their thing okay so, so, so yeah. take, take away for a second the original steam purchase yeah okay like you essentially if, if this is how you're playing your game do they cross save do they like i think it's steam it's just Steam. It's, you're logging into Steam on a, on a, on and a virtual machine. And you're using the, 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 highway, the no, NVIDIA the, highway to do it. As, as far as I know, there's no alteration of the software. Like, they're not stripping out the DRM for that stuff. But the, no. ser- the, yeah. service, the service that you are now paying for, now that it's a pay thing, yeah. is the path to accessing it outside of your home. Yeah, so it, like I guess the question for me is, like, if I spin up an AWS instance, if I, if I go to Amazon... And spin up a virtual machine there, and install Windows and Steam, and I have to pay Amazon. Is that illegal? To like remote into that machine and play my game? No. If I install Windows on that remote machine, do I have to Did get you Windows, buy Windows permission separately? Yeah, I bought Windows. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I so like it, I could see the argument for people being like, you're I bought also, this. You're also like conflating like a service and a, you know, and what? like and like an actual tangible thing well i think there i think there's like questions there that yeah. uh, that's I, the I, point is that i think i don't think any of this is actually that well defined I'm just asking yeah. questions here yeah man. you're just asking the questions I, I i absolutely see the three angles on this right i yeah. see the consumer angle which is like i bought this thing i own it if i bought this as a physical disc you're going to tell me which xbox to put it in like if i want to put this in my friend's xbox and play it are you going to say i can't well you buy a which... copy of animal crossing <laughs> at this point apparently you only get one switch for it so wait what yeah Wait, if you buy a physical copy of Animal Crossing, you can only play it in one Switch? You you do understand that you only get one island per Switch, right? No, I don't think I knew that. Yeah. Wait, so if I take that thing out of a Switch and give it to Mike, the game doesn't... Wait, how does that work? I, so I, I actually, the physical aspect of that is the thing okay. I know the least about. But what, <laughs> okay. I, what I do know is that any copy of Animal Crossing that, that, that people buy, you get one island for that Switch. Oh, so you can't make another account on it. But like that, that there's one spot. There's on that. literally one island. Okay. Yeah. I think I get that yeah. part. But if like you delete it, 
you could Mike could start over or something. I, I would presumably. Think so. okay. I, I don't. I, I, I don't know. know. I, okay. I was. I was just throwing that out there as <laughs> sure. like, uh, oh, by the yes. way, there are some weird restrictions I, I, that sometimes I had come this, out of this stuff. I had this nightmare that these carts were self destructing. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, the, the three angles. I absolutely see the consumer angle. I bought this. I should be able to play yeah. it any way I want. Right. I absolutely see the publisher developer angle of like, what if your platform is like run by Nazis and I don't want it to be on there? You can't just put my thing on there without asking. That is a bold claim against Nvidia. <laughs> I'm not I'm saying that. Yeah. I'm just saying like, there, if we made a giant bomb subscription app. App, and then somebody uh, LG was like, "We're just going to put it on our TV without asking you." That feels kind of messed up, right? Well, even though we got all the revenue from subscriptions, even though it might bring more people to our thing, I f- still feel like you should have asked us before you just put it on your TV. It's like a storage locker thing, where like you get a storage locker and you're you're like, "I'm actually just going to live here." <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I pay rent. You know, like uh, you can't do that. And I kind of see, I kind of see Nvidia's case of like we're just offering access to stuff people already own. Right, right. So, it's, it's it is different, but yeah. it's confusing. Anyway. Uh, and I feel like I, I've heard or read arguments on all sides, and I think I think once money got involved, right, people are like, "What's it, the cut?" Yeah, of course, you know, like what? Who's making money off? Because, of Because beca- right, because you essentially up and what's up? What's the vague on this? <laughs> Stop it! Who's getting the juice? Right. Before money was introduced, it was just it, you know you'd have all these publishers being like, "Yeah, fucking buy my game." I, the buy one, my game. the one thing I find oh. difficult to believe is that no one mentioned this to anyone at Nvidia during the beta periods. Like I, I have to believe the developers, right? Yeah, like internally, at some point, someone had to be like hey. aware of this and realize that like, yo, this service is coming out. Yeah, the second <laughs> we start charging. Yeah, and it seems like Activision were at the forefront of like, okay, now you're charging for this, so you can't use so, it. So I think that's. What I've read is some people being like, oh, we didn't realize you're going to turn the money faucet on and then start making money on the backs of the software that me- we make. Right. But yeah, it's, we- it's again, it's a gray area. I don't think that there is a, a, a simple solution to this that pleases everyone because inevitably there's shit here that just has not been hammered out as far as like how digital rights management works in this kind of context. Yeah, it sounds and feels like a licensing thing, but. I don't know. And, and I think there's also a lot of confusion with things like Stadia, where it's like, oh, you're buying games through Stadia. And right. Stadia, and those games are altered to run in a cloud, where this is, excuse me, you this run is just shit a virtual you machine. Um, yeah, I my gut tends to be on like, oh, man, I, I did buy this game. I kind of want to be able to play it however I want to play it. Uh, but I could I could understand and hear other arguments for it. Like, I think protecting where your stuff shows up is a uh, is something that i understand the argument for uh and, and i get it yeah it's interesting it, it, isn't it though it, like uh, I, yeah that's why i said it yeah, yeah. and I, I think the ownership questions that we have just kind of assumed like it'll take care of itself are only getting worse for sure right. of like you don't actually own this thing you license it from the publisher i know and with the right I, to play it i am i'm with you i support that but yeah. in 2020 I don't know. Maybe another hill we got to die. I think it's, I think it's <laughs> yeah. maybe time we start. Again, cre- the, uh, <laughs> categorize this under like, wow, of all the problems I have to deal with with yeah. work and stuff, I'm so glad this isn't one yeah. my thing I have to decide. I will read the, or, hey, don't, don't actually come to me with your answers because I'm just a bystander like everybody else. Yeah. I don't, I don't have GeForce now. I'm just really interested to see how this plays out. Uh, I do want to protect consumer rights and I also do want to protect the rights of the people who own the IPs. Uh, and but I, this has to get solidified somehow. Someone has, has to figure has, this has, out. Yeah, somebody has, has to figure out how we're going to manage all this stuff. Yeah. Bizarre. Um, Hell of a thing. Oh, man. The digital digital life is tough. This is why I never became a lawyer. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually love arguing. I just I hate minutia. Like, I hate trying to dig into, like, every detail of, like, print. how does this, how is this legal versus how is this not legal? Like, I don't have that kind of patience. Yeah. Objection. I'm, Oh no! Sustain. Fuck you! Oh, there you go. You got it. <laughs> that's lawyer. That's the other reason. That's, not, that's the other reason court. I'm not a good that's lawyer. Court. I would you'd cuss be, too you'd much. Be a great lawyer. That's court. Yana. He uh, actually got legitimately scared for it. <laughs> 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 he couldn't see it, but he like he he, he, he did pointed a finger at gun at yeah. and his eyes wide. 